Well, it is Sunday afternoon, and I am in the office getting things ready for a busy week at our law firm in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. I know tomorrow a lot of people are off, but our law firm uses days off, if you will, to prepare even more for its cases and put out more content, uh, if possible, along with videos whenever possible. This week, we will focus a lot on drunk driving offenses with our content. We will focus on those offenses in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. There's some crossover between how we handle offenses in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. <clears throat> like Pennsylvania, New Jersey does suspend driver's licenses for drunk driving convictions. But like Pennsylvania, there is now an ignition interlock program which we will highlight in our content this week in New Jersey. In the past, unlike Pennsylvania, if you were convicted of drunk driving in New Jersey, you were at the minimum gonna lose your license for three months in the state of New Jersey. That is no longer the case. New Jersey does have the Ignition Interlock Program, which is a great program for a lot of people allowing them to drive. Now, a lot of that depends on BAC levels and that's why we will highlight as well BAC and why that's important in your case. Drunk driving, it's a unique type of crime, if you will. In New Jersey, unlike Pennsylvania, drunk driving is considered a traffic offense, uh, not a criminal offense, so it's not governed by the crimes code, if you will. In, in Pennsylvania, yeah, it is considered a criminal offense, but it's the type of offense that we see across a variety of different types of individuals from you know, professional people to college students, to high school students sometimes. Uh, it, is a, it is a offense that we see a lot of in our offices in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. It can happen to anybody. Anybody can be out with friends or family and have that extra glass of wine or that extra a bottle of beer and not think that they're intoxicated when they are in fact over the legal limit. I have written articles on tolerance versus impairment and while they are not the same thing and while it's important to understand that a person could have a high tolerance and still be over the legal limit. So if you have questions about drunk driving or any crime, 215-755-9000 in Pennsylvania. 856-793-7429 in New Jersey, the website gambonelaw.com. All of my books, my blogs, my videos, everything that I've ever written as a lawyer is available on that website. It is a great resource. You can also sign up for our free weekly newsletter that goes out every Friday. It goes out to currently over 3,000 of our current and former clients. Our law firm realizes that the weekends are an incredibly busy time for people. It's also a time because people have so much time available to them, there is a better likelihood that something out of the ordinary can occur like a criminal offense. So that's the reason why we answer our calls 24 hours a day, seven days a week in Pennsylvania, 215-755-9000. In New Jersey, 856-793-7429. Have a great Sunday afternoon and I will talk to you all soon.